Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Friday, 16th day of September, 13th day of Elul. Here we go. You know, just like the, you know, there are 613 mitzvahs, commands that we're supposed to do, like um, put on tefillin, um, eat kosher, you know, etc. Well, there is a specific command in our Torah, a mitzvah, to do teshuva, to repent. And, of course, it's crucial that we focus on that. We are now just uh, weeks away from Rosh Hashanah. So let's do that right now. And note, as our beginning point, that there's a mitzvah. It's a command. You've got to eat kosher. You've got to uh, put on tefillin, etc. And you have to do teshuva. Remember that life itself is kind of like a boomerang experience. I'll tell you what I mean. Our neshamas are cast down, our souls are cast down into this world at the beginning of our life, which kind of distances us from God. And then we spend our whole life just coming back. Everybody says in Shon Esrei, Hashiveinu avinu l'sarasecha, God, please return us to, to your Torah. Everybody says that. Always. At all times. We're always in that boomerang effect, always returning and coming back to God. Sometimes people have a feeling of, well, I'm very far, you know, uh, God doesn't even want me, or I, I can never get there because I'm so messed up. So please realize that we have important phrases that say things like, even if your heart's broken, God's not ashamed of your, uh, bring it. Just bring your broken heart, put it all the pieces of it on the table in front of God and say, I've wronged. You know it, I know it, and I, I, I'm ashamed, but, but I know you want even my broken heart. And you just talk like that. You can have honest, straight talks with God about your mistakes, etc. And never say, but I've sinned, so, so I can't. That's wrong. Your broken heart is like, a, is like a sacrifice in front of God, and He would love to see you. Just put your broken heart on the table and talk with God about it. Now, when you're doing Teshuvah, there are steps to it. One of them is to just divorce yourself from the sin. I, I'm just not with that anymore. I, I don't, that's not me. Um, also, you regret it. I regret that, I, and you can't fake it out. You got to really develop a sincere feeling of regret for having done the sin, the sin, and also to try to make a firm commitment to never do the sin again. Also, a fourth step in repentance is vidui. That's where you actually say what it is that you did. You know, that's hard, and that process of just forcing yourself to say it is, uh, is an, an important part of the process also. Um, please remember that if you sinned with a fellow Jew, then besides all the steps I just mentioned, you're also going to need to get forgiveness from the Jew that you sinned against. Otherwise, your repentance is not going to work on that. A person who says, I will sin and later I'll just do tshuva. Right now I'll enjoy the sin and later I'll just repent for it. Well, that's going to be difficult. God is not quick to let himself be fooled, of course. So, don't ever plan on that because it's very difficult to come back from echtev ashiv. I'll sin and I'll do tshuva later. And uh, since we're, we've said that it's so important that you have to, um, you know, get forgiveness from anyone who sinned against you, please remember that when you're on the receiving end of that request and someone comes to ask you for forgiveness, don't ever be that person who says, well, beg me, you know, grovel in front of me first. Don't be like that. You don't want God speaking to you like that, do you? You just want quick forgiveness. That's what you dream of. Well, so offer the same thing to your friend so that you can hope for that from uh, God. Thanks for logging on. Log on again after Shabbos for more. Have a great Shabbos. Bye-bye.